Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have my crystal ball off to the side, so I will be scrying throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do if it doesn't resonate with you, if you're forcing the story to fit, or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So channel members, your next Omen reading video will be out in the middle of next week. And so if you are interested in learning how to divine objects around you, not tarot, not runes, not the traditional ways, um, we're going a little bit further back. This is a very uh, shamanic way of divination. Um, so if you are interested in that and also interested in learning how to read the events, which is omen reading, uh, that might be something that you're interested in. So you can check that out in the description box below. There is a link to channel memberships, uh, or you can simply hit the join button for, below this video. So uh, if you notice, I'm a little bit of a, a calmer, quieter mood, uh, and that's the energy that is coming through for this reading. There's a very subtle energy coming through for this reading. Um, okay, so let's see. Taking a step aside. And allowing spirit to pass through me. Opening up to receive information. Okay, so um, this is a message that, this feels a little bit like a message that came out maybe about a month and a half ago. Um, so this is for the collective of people uh, within the Witch and Scythe Collective <laughs> who um, you know that you have a healing ability. I don't feel that for all of you it's hands-on. For some of you it's simply your presence uh, helps instigate people's healing journeys. Um, it gets people very interested in starting their own sort of path. Um, there, this is what this is. This is what this is. Okay. Um, for some of you, you, you are hands-on, right? Like you might be a Reiki practitioner or you might um, practice some other healing modality, you might be a nurse, for example. Um, but this energy is for those people who embody that healing energy. Um, th there is, there's a message coming through, it's almost like a confirmation for somebody uh, you have recently received or feel as though you've stepped into a new energy. So uh, for some of you, you might consider this an activation or a level up of some, some sort. And uh, you are feeling extremely powerful at this time. And so this is very beautiful energy that I'm actually feeling for you. It feels like certain things have clicked uh, that didn't necessarily click previously. And this is confirmation for somebody that, yes, your energy has changed. There's something around you that has shifted. Um, but you are also being um, drawn to do something. And for some of you, this feels very drawn to create your own system of healing. So this can even be the case if you're the person who doesn't practice a healing modality, but simply by existing, you know that um, people get very interested in what you do. Um, you know, this is very common for people who, uh, you know, you're a Sigma personality. I'm, I'm, I'm a Sigma personality. And uh, this is something that happens a lot of times, right? Um, people really respect you. So then they start becoming interested in what you're talking about because they respect that you are a grounded person, for example. Um, and so they're like, well, you wouldn't really be interested in anything that's way out there. So what's going on here? And they become interested. And then they start their own journey of like learning about different philosophies and things. Um, this is what I'm talking about. So somebody who, um, you know, you have a way of like, starting the domino chain effect. Uh, sometimes that can be extremely healing for the people around you, right? Because then they start ultimately pursuing their own healing journey. Uh, there's something like this where either you're that camp or you're the camp that's literally working on healing people with like Reiki and stuff like that. Uh, but both camps, either either one, whoever I'm speaking to, you are being drawn towards doing something that is a new system of healing. And I'm feeling this is like wild, like it's way out there, like it's something that other people don't do. Uh, this is your confirmation that this is something that would be very, very good for you, right? This is something that would be very good for you. Uh, I'm not saying that it's confirmation that your guides are like, oh yeah, that's your path. Um, ultimately, if you get readings from me, you know that the majority of the times when I connect with guides, they tell me that a person has to pick their own path. There's not always, but usually. Um, but this is an energy that someone is about to really step step into some very magical territory. That's how it feels, very magical territory. Um, let's see. 
this is about the future. This is about stepping into your future here. We have fairies of the future and uh, I'm not going to cover them up. I don't think there's too much that I have to cover up here. Uh, and we have this beautiful red energy. And whenever I see Amanita muscaria mushrooms, that really speaks to me about the root. Our roots are changing. Uh, our basic understanding of things on a foundational level has shifted somehow. And um, maybe it's already, it, it's not like major. Maybe it's just enough to make you understand a little bit more of, oh, wow, like I really am a vital piece here, right? Because so many people don't understand that you're actually a very vital piece here. Uh, we have it beat into our heads that we're very small. We're like little grains of sand, if even that. We're like little dust mites in the cosmos, um, in the vastness of the universe. And while that's true, um, this is so far the only place that we have evidence that this is happening. Obviously, there's probably other places. <laughs> we know that. Um, but, uh, you know, you're still a very vital piece, right? You're a very vital piece in the energy story. And so somebody is understanding how vital that is. We have a way of people of really discounting things, right? Really making things small, of dim diminishing things and diminishing experiences. And uh, someone has come into a place where they understand they don't have to diminish themselves that way anymore um and something beautiful happens when you learn to not do that to yourself right as long as you're operating within a healthy uh, mindset you understand that that means that you're not going to diminish other people as much either um we usually <laughs> usually uh treat others the way that we want to be treated right uh and this is something that somebody is really recognizing here that the way forward is to really understand the sacredness that they contain as well as the sacredness that other people contain so that's very beautiful energy and it's vital if you are, in fact, somebody that considers yourself a healer. So let's see. Yeah, this is a new way. You're stepping into a new phase. This is the guardian of the gateway. Um, I'm seeing somebody really working on very elaborate glyphs. And they're charging these glyphs somehow. So someone here is working with sigils, for example, or glyphs of some kind that they're making up. Someone else is also working with a kind of like a made up alphabet language. Like I said, it's bordering very magical. Uh, someone here is also using uh, different chemical combinations uh, to initiate certain states. Uh, for example, a long time ago, I used to take a combination of, I think it was galantamine and... Um, HTP5, I can't remember, uh, and I took it uh, in combination to cause me to stay in that in-between state, right? That state between dreams and sleep, um, because in that in-between state, uh, it's very easy to initiate contact with whatever you want and to receive information that you can then verify. Um, so that's a very interesting thing because we have the gateway. Someone here is experimenting uh, with the border between things, right? Those in-between states. Um, some of you are really getting into lucid dreaming for this, maybe even astral projection for this. And uh, some of you are just really experimenting uh, with plant medicine, for example. There's this very beautiful energy that we're feeling a little bit more at home as we're stepping into this energy of understanding maybe that we've been doing something the whole time that we didn't realize that we were doing and this is also contributing to this energy of wow I can you know really try to experiment with expanding my healing repertoire <laughs> as it were um, through some sort of system that we're creating here or some sort of new thing that we're trying that isn't necessarily a traditional or popular modality. And I think that's really beautiful. Um, I do feel that whoever is resonating with this, you probably resonated with this message when it came out before, but it seems like it's an upgraded version of it where we're, we're going a little deeper down that rabbit hole. So I like that. I like that. Um, there's also this sort of sense here that we're receiving some information. Oh, we're receiving some information, the sage, um, and in receiving this information, a lot of it is coming from internal spaces that we hadn't accessed before. And the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, we have one eye turned inward with that one eye that's blind, right? Uh, this always throws me back to Odin and um, the sacrificing himself unto himself. <clears throat> We've done something here that we considered a sacrifice, whether it's pulling away from the external world uh, for a great deal of time in order to self-reflect and to have our own inward journey, or we are doing something, some sort of ritual, uh, where we go within and we gain knowledge from going within. This is really where we extract that sort of magic, right? Just like, just like in the poetic Eddas, just like um, with the story of Odin, there is this 
energy of having gone within and extracted some sort of new uh, again, I just keep coming back to glyphs because uh, this is how Odin got the knowledge of the runes. Someone here is really working with symbols and glyphs. He might be in my current omen reading, <laughs> uh, my current omen reading uh, class that I'm doing with my memberships. But there, there's this energy here that we're we're understanding that symbols are how the universe speaks, and if symbols are how the universe speaks to us. Um, really our subconscious, right, how our minds speak, that if healing can really be unlocked by the mind, that going within someone else's energy system with these symbols might do something. It's something like that. I, I, it's not my, it's not my practice, so I'm having a hard time keeping up with the energy, uh, but it's something to that extent. So part of it might be wrong. I don't know. Um, but this is actually very beautiful. Like I said, this is bordering very magical. Um, however, that magical thinking is really how we create new, new modalities, right? It's how we innovate. That's the beautiful part of being a human being is we have to have a certain level of magical thinking in order to conceive new things that are outside of the already, uh, already known box. And this is what somebody's engaging in, and they feel a little hesitant. Someone feels a little hesitant, like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Just go, just do it, experiment, right? Observe. You don't have to judge it as a failure or a win. Uh, one of the things about creating something new, especially a new modality, for example, is to be able to have a little bit more of that sort of scientific approach to it where you're willing to observe and see what works and see what doesn't. And when you can repeat the results and you know you have something that works. Someone here is really doing that. Someone here is sitting, sitting and actually doing it. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I am so curious about this. I'm so curious about this. Okay, again, a heavy dose of going within. Someone here, whoever is this message is for, uh, you're coming up with this after a time of really going through a very deep healing journey of your own. And, you know, as I always say, that healing journey never quite ends, but uh, you've cleared out a lot of it, right? You've cleared out a lot of it and you're just constantly learning more things about yourself. We have Epona's wild daughter. She's kind of forcing this individual to look inside themselves and they're, um, they've got this owl spirit. So owls may be something that you've been seeing recently. And this owl spirit really represents, again, that wisdom, right? A sage-like sage energy. Someone here has understood that they are their own teacher. Um, that the greatest teacher you can ever have outside of your enemies is yourself. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is where we're, we are understanding that we, we contain our own systems within us, our own knowledge that we've brought from our lifetimes within us. And we're bringing that forward in a new way. Uh, understanding that there are not rigid structures in place spiritually, so to speak, as there are divine laws, right? There's a little bit of a difference there. And as long as we are operating within those divine laws, that divine time, um, certain mechanisms at play, the energy exchanges in between, we can actually create whatever we want. Uh, so if you want to create a new healing modality, that is available to you. And someone's finally understanding that, that, oh, this isn't in my head. I can actually do this. So I love this. Someone is really discovering their own sort of power of how to bring their gifts forward in a new way. And this is where we really start to explore. This is where we become explorers. We're not just following in the footsteps of someone before us or even, you know, the popular the popular crowd, right? Because let's face it, a lot of, uh, a lot of modern spirituality, it's, you know, this is true, this is true, this is true, and everyone just follows. And this is where someone stops being a follower. I feel that this person, whoever I'm reading for, you haven't been a follower anyway. You've been very interested in your own thing and uh, deducing your own conclusions about things. There's a great deal of wisdom showing up within this card set here, just between the owl and the sage. This is someone who has allowed their mind to expand, probably in different ways. Uh, this is someone who has allowed themselves to grow in their spiritual journey, probably in different ways. When we see the sage, there's a healthy dose of appreciation for tradition, but also a very huge appreciation for the wild, right? Being wild, being unpredictable, going outside those fences that people erect. And this is really that sort of balance that is required in order to understand 
um, the mechanisms at play and how to use those mechanisms to your advantage or to um, do new things, right? This is really a, this is really an energy of really trying to distill our own wisdom and our own understanding, our own learning to bring about this very uh, exploratory energy so that we can create something new to benefit everyone. And that's what I really love. You know, that's, that's again, the word innovation comes to mind. So I think this is really beautiful energy. And I love that this came through on a Saturday. It sets the tone for the weekend. So whoever you are in this healing journey, whatever it is that you're planning on doing or that you're creating, I wish you the best of luck. Um, I think that this is going to be something that's really good. It's going to be really good. And I think you know that now. Uh, you're stepping into it with a newfound sense of personal power and um, a little bit of an energy shift. So that's always that's always something beautiful to kick something off, right? So if this resonates for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to comment. And until next time.